What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode. As you can see, there's plenty of chaos going right now. We've got a big old storm happening, and there's a bunch of damaged structures, and no power, and all that kind of stuff over here. So definitely want to get all the rangers to try and repair everything, because uh, I do believe at the end of last episode, uh, when the storm actually started, I did a... Uh... Oh, oh, is there... Oh, there is a tornado over here! Jeez, I can't even do my intro over here! <laughs> But yeah, at the beginning, of, or at the end of the last episode, we did, uh, put everyone inside of the shelters, so they should be safe, because there's a heckin' tornado about to go over the shelter itself! Oh my gosh! Holy heck, it's going over the ranger area! Can the ranger, can they, can they repair themselves? I don't think so! Oh man, the power lines are going down too! Oh, and we got dead dinos! No! Man! I was in the aviary. Oh, yeah. Okay, if, if it's a Tropic Nathus, yeah, we definitely want to make another uh, set of those guys here pretty soon, but holy heck, I think the only way to repair this is, is, is to manually control the ranger itself. Yeah, direct control and then repair. Yeah, there we go. Otherwise, we can't tell the rangers to do anything because their ranger station is, like, offline or whatever, but holy heck. Literally everything in the path of this tornado. Ah, the fence is broken now. Okay, I need, I need to pause. Hold on, hold on. Rangers. Oh, oh, oh my god. Never mind, never mind, they're getting blown up against the heck and- Oh, they're right next to the big opening right here. Oh my gosh, the T-Rex is just sleeping through the storm. And I can't repair this, because the sleeping T-Rex is in the way of the fence. Are you kidding me? What in the world is happening right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's away from all the buildings now, which is good, and... Seems like it might be dissipating a little bit, it's hard to tell because it's nighttime, it's- Oh, there we go, it's gone! Okay, good, good, good. But, uh, okay, the tornado's gone, but there's still, like, a warning or whatever at the top of the screen, so, uh, hopefully we can have rangers coming over here and repairing all these different buildings and structures and stuff over here. Oh, the T-Rex has awoken! The T-Rex- T-T-Rex? <laughs> the T-Rex has awoken! I need- I need to bring the capture team over here to knock him out because he keeps blocking this pathway right here. We're not able to- oh, wait! Oh, wait, no! He actually moved out of the way, are you kidding me? That is pure luck! Thank you, T-Rex! Thank you so much! Alright, let's go over here. We have another, uh, fence, like, 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 break, broken fence over here. And the, I think the viewing gallery, too, yeah. This is broken over here as well, I'm not 100% sure. Let me, let me look at the big map over here. Yeah, it's, it's being repaired right now, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but, uh, uh, let's see. Capture team, stop tranquilizing, stop tranquilizing, cancel that. There, okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, uh, is, is this broken over here, too, or? Oh, yeah, because it's the same enclosure, so they're all, uh, dino threats or whatever, right? But, either way, let's get the rangers over here, boom, uh, repair in progress. Okay, repair is in progress. Need them all to repair everything around here. Let's unpause, see if there's anything else around the park that needs to be repaired. Uh, let's get this ranger, repair this, this, this. Anything else that need to be repaired on this side? I don't think so. Okay. Over here. See if there's anything that needs to be repaired. I think we're good. Like, I'm not I'm not seeing a... Oh, I need to be... Re oh, wait. Hold on. There's a viewing platform right there. No fences. No, no, no gates. Nothing like that. Need to be repaired. That's actually really good. Oh, yeah. We're still transferring the copies. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So that must be why the transfer team and transfer team is all, like, busy and stuff like that. Because we have, like, 10 or 12 copies or whatever that are transferring over to the T-Rex area. So that's good. But, yeah. The storm has dissipated. I forgot to, uh... Close the shelters. There you go. Close all. Hey, look at that. I actually called it the right thing that time instead of calling it open shelters or whatever. But we do have... This is still... Oh, well, I have a ranger actually uh, queued up to hopefully repair that. Yeah, see, so he's repairing the guest attraction. So that should be fixed here in just a moment. Yep, there you go. Okay, cool. So I think we actually survived that there, you guys. That's actually good. Because remember, we just came out of a predicament with, uh, you know, money and stuff like that. And we only just now got the T-Rexes. Both T-Rexes laid down last episode, so we're actually starting to bring in money. So, yeah, that storm had some crazy timing there, you guys. And yeah, there's a drop zone right there for one of the, uh, for one of the copies. So, I am curious where the T-Rexes are. Oh, yeah, then, by the way, we need to, uh, modify the gyrosphere thing to go over here to the new T-Rex expansion area. So, definitely want to do that. As well, as you can see on the bottom right corner, we actually have some, uh, Mosasaurus genome going over here. I don't know if we have, do we have any fossils or what do we have over here? Hold on, fossils. Okay, no fossils, but uh, and and going on Mosasaurus expeditions and all that kind of stuff is really like multiple millions of dollars, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, look at that 2.28 million. It's going to be a little bit less with the cheaper expeditions person, but at the same time, still like over a million. We're not even over a million right now. So if I want to look at that here in the future, we do have view research. What is this? Why, why is there like a symbol above here? I'm like, Usually it symbol, uh, symbolizes something, <laughs> but I don't know what that's all about right now. Uh, oh, I, I guess maybe that's a different, because I'm used to that being like a 
different symbol, like uh, like a fossil symbol or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they changed something. Either way, uh, I guess, do we want to go on another expedition? Do we want to save up for another one? Because right now we're kind of recovering from that. Uh, yes, you look at that. We're like basically not making any more, actually losing money still. Negative 200,000 per minute needs to start recovering. So I think what we're going to do is maybe, maybe ignore that. We might need to, yeah, we might need to modify this over here because I, I did say I wanted to have like multiple smaller lagoons over here instead of just like one gigantic one. Because you guys said that's what we need to do. So if I did that, what are we going to do? If I get the demolish thing. Well, that's connected up there. That's connected up. Yeah, we're basically going to have to redo like all of this over here, unfortunately. I don't know if we could have like one strip, like one big like like cylinder, I guess you could describe it as, of a lagoon here. I don't know if that's possible. Like if I got rid of this, this, and this, and then this, this, and this. And then we'd be able to build another one like right here and then here, like this. I don't know if we'd be able to do that and have like three strips of lagoons here. I don't know if we could do that. Hmm. I definitely have to look into that. Yeah, you know what? Let's just modify it for right now because we're getting close to getting in the Mosasaurus. We might be able to go on another Mosasaurus expedition right now, but we might as well do it right now while we have money. And we're going to get a little bit of money by disassembling this, so that's good. And I think it actually got rid of the hatcheries there, so hopefully I got money back from the hatcheries. But, uh, yeah, it does look like I could have, okay, one big cylinder of a lagoon there. So I wonder if I could do another cylinder, like here and then here. Oh, yeah, because we have this here. What, what, what's the visibility at right now? Is it very good? Because this is very lengthwise here. What I'm thinking about maybe doing is if we have them like in a strips. Uh, let's go to dinosaur visibility. Yeah, see, it's not the best, but I, I guess if anything, the hotel kind of makes up for that. Maybe, maybe instead of having the lagoon viewing thing here, we could perhaps move it. Let's see, like this. This is actually really good here. Hmm. And then we'd have one on each side. And then, uh, then we could have another strip here, and then it'd be on, you know? Yeah, interesting. And I guess we could keep this one here, maybe, and just kind of add some on the sides there. Hmm. So if I did do that, let's go to... I'm just trying to experiment around here, you guys. And I guess I guess while we're doing that, we do have the money. Let's do let's do another Mosasaurus ex expedition, because right now our Mosasaurus is it's, it's over 50%. It's, it's it's a viable genome, but I really want to get it to 100%, and it's at 70% right now, so... I'm like, fingers crossed that we actually get 30% uh, fossils over here. 30% uh, genome out of the fossils over here, right? So let's actually see. Where's the uh, cheaper expeditions? There we go. So with you, and then we need to get you and you. And that, that makes it go down to four minutes, because otherwise it's like almost, it's like eight or nine minutes, right? So that's actually going to be really good. It's down to 1.56 million, so that's still a lot of money, but at least it's a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable. And we still have 1.5 million. Uh, in the bank afterwards. So now that we have that going in the background, let's actually see if we can, uh, let's get the viewing stands. Yeah, Lagoon viewing stand. So if I place this here, and is that in the middle or? Yeah, it seems like you can't really place them like directly in the middle, which really sucks, but I guess we can place this here. That's fine, honestly. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. That's fine. Is it, po oh yeah, it is possible. I was wondering why nothing was happening right there, but so yeah, so we could place that there and then we could put another one on the other side, like say here. And whatever that's done, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, 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 vehicle destroyed. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we can place this. Why is that not showing a viewing? Oh, oh, it's yeah, it's that way. Because uh, that's not done being. It doesn't have a pathway. Actually, that's the reason why. So hold on. Let's get this going like this. Make a straight pathway. Just a small straight path. Same thing on this side. Small straight path like that. And then we'll make it go. Whoops. Uh, straight down like this. Perfect. So make it straight path. And then uh, we could always expand that to be thoroughfare path, so uh, it has a little bit more room. But now that we have that going, boom, connected up, perfect. We could actually try and see if we can make those other lagoons. So uh, I'm very curious to see if that's going to work out very well. But, you know, three lagoons here, that should be good. Like, we're going to have Mosasaurus. We could have Plesiosaur. I saw those. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I have to get a power over here. So let's get a substation. Yeah, is this going to power? Nah, man, it's just barely not able to power that over there, unfortunately. So I guess we'll have to place a substation on each side. So boom. And then uh, we'll put another one on this side. Power. Oh, whoop, that's pylons. Do this. There you go. And if anything, at least maybe I'll power the uh, viewing gallery on the other side as well. So there you go. And then connect it up like so. And uh, do the same thing here, I suppose. So uh, there you go. And connect it up like so. Awesome. Let's get the attractions over here. Or uh, let's see. There it is right there. The goon section. Is there enough room over here even? Hopefully there is. I really want to try and maximize this area. Well, I guess if anything, this is just a bathroom here. It's not even that big of a deal. You know what? Yeah, you know, there's no one even over here anyways. Let's get rid of these pathways. That gives us a little bit more freedom. At least for right now. Let's do this. There you go. So it looks like we need about that much space. And then we'll have the lagoons. And they did come back from the expedition. So while I'm doing this, even though it was a game, it, yeah, see, it has a little uh, false icon. I don't know why it changes there sometimes, but either way. 
Let's go over here. Let's actually process those fossils. So we actually have uh, only 15% right there. Only It's only 85%. Man. Oh, yeah, look at this. It has a little money symbol there now. Yeah, they definitely added a few things, you guys. That's really cool. And I don't even have to... Yeah, I don't have to I don't have to have a scientist. Oh, that is an interesting thing. I like that. Yeah, remember previously we had to have a scientist like uh like extract the fossils out of this as well as like extract the minerals or whatever out of that stuff. But now we can just sell them like immediately. That is a cool addition there, especially for emergency situations. We can just kind of have extra fossils and uh, minerals, whatever over here. So can I sell fossils now? Because that was something I was wondering last time. I guess you can't still. Anyways, yeah, I like that, you guys. Really, really cool stuff here. Uh, so science scientist is this, though. So we can get this done uh, two and a half minutes there. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. All right. Oh, wait, it's actually down to a minute right there because he's overqualified. That's actually really good. Let's try and get those lagoons over here. Have a, have a second lagoon over here. And then I guess what we could do is we could go like this. So let's do this. I guess we could place this down, like, say, here. Yeah, we can place it down about right there. There's another one down about right there. Wait, why is that only two there? I don't know. How is this three, but this is only two? That is very strange. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this is weird. But, oh, yeah, and then I guess they modified this as well. Yeah, look at this. You could actually see. I didn't notice this until just now. You could actually see all the circles around it where you could place all the other lagoon. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going, I'm, going to, I'm going to delete these again. Man. We're losing so much money by me placing these down and then deleting them again, just trying to get it just right. But ah, look at that. That's, that's kind of off the angle there, too. And they just finished building that. Now the deconstructed again. Hold on. Let's try and get this just right here, you guys. I guess we'll do this. And maybe move it just a little bit this way. Boom. And then we'll place another one there. Boom. Okay, cool. Let's place down the uh, the viewing galleries, I suppose. And then uh, we'll be able to figure out. And uh, Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. I left, like, the perfect amount of room there for... Uh, so we place one there and then another one there. Yeah, we should have full coverage there. Cool. Actually, this yeah, these corners are actually a little bit better. Let's put them on the corners then. So if I did one there, then we put another one on this corner here. We have basically full hecking coverage here. Awesome. And then we still need to... Where am I going to slip that in? I still need to place down the hatchery for the lagoon. That could fit it, honestly, if I, if I, got, if I move that pathway just ever so slightly. So I think right here is going to be a really good spot for it, honestly. Was, uh, yeah, see, like, right there. It's kind of ugly, nasty looking and stuff. I don't know. Do I want to place it here? So if I place it here, that means the Mosasaurus. I, I kind of want to see the Mosasaurus get released, you know? But having it in the middle here is honestly pretty good. Honestly, this is probably the best bet we could do. Kind of sucks, though. <laughs> Didn't really have that best of planning, but what are you going to do, right? So uh, let's make this go straight, and then I guess we'll have to curve around this. So curve mode on, and then, and then uh, oh, wow, that's really nasty looking. <laughs> I guess we'd have it squiggle around like so. There we go. Okay, cool. Then this can uh, do that. Okay, that is so stupid looking, but at least it gets the job done. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, no power. As y'all know, it's about the no power thing, but uh, we'll worry about that here in just a moment. And uh, this is over here, as y'all know, it's about the no pathway, so let's actually take care of that. All right, that's good. But, uh, oh yeah, and then this is y'all know, it's about the pathway, so let's actually connect this up now that we have the path done. And there we go. Cool. So now we have two lagoons, one small, one big. Hatchery over here is almost done with this wonky little pathway. And then, uh, yeah, so now we have this done. Let's actually get the front rangers assigned to this. We'll assign you guys to this hatchery right there, and we can actually get the Mosasaurus going. Let's actually look at that map again, the management views for, uh, oh yeah, look at the, look at the visibility right here. Like 99% visibility there, that's really good. 100% visibility here, that's amazing. Love that. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to look at this for the shops and stuff. So yeah, they're, they're still, they're still complaining about the shops and stuff. It definitely makes sense to maybe play some shops. Oh man, another dead dino. Uh, near the viewing galleries here, like say there and then maybe here on this side too. Uh, and then that should hopefully cover this area around the hotel too. So you know what? Let's do it over here. Uh, it's a good thing I actually left a little bit of room over there. Another copy died. Man, is it of old age? Did it die of old age? It did. Okay, that, that's good, but we, we made a bunch of copies already, so uh... Wait. Oh wait, I, I'm using the demolish button on that copy. There you go. Transfer the dead dead body out of there. There you go. Oh yeah, then I wanted to make another set of tropiags over here because that died during the storm. So let's actually get another uh set of these guys going. Actually, you know what? Yeah, look at all these different uh, flyers we could have here. Tapahara, Sung... Wait, how do you pronounce this? Sungoripterus, Geosternbergia, and then Tyranodon over here. We should probably do some expeditions for uh, more flyers, honestly. Just get some more variety and maybe some more new interesting things. Huh. I'm like, maybe, maybe how much would that cost to go on a expedition trying to get more Sung... Sung Sungoripterus, whatever that thing was? <laughs> Let me try and see. Let's go to expeditions over here, just because we, we can just... Yeah, just barely not afford that. Uh, we might be able to go on. I think it was over here. Yeah, there it is right there. Sungaripterus. That's 180,000. We can do that. 
There we go. Let's, let's go on an expedition over there. Let's just expect, let's take you out there. Two, two minutes there. Cheaper expeditions. Hey, save a little bit of money with you. Might as well, right? But uh, I guess we'll take you. And it'll be done in a minute. That's going to be really good, you guys. Maybe just go on one or two more expeditions after that. Well, 100% uh, Gino for this guy. Yeah, okay. So I, I guess if anything, we're going to be moving on from the Dimorphodons and the... Or whatever we currently have right now. <laughs> and uh, moving on to maybe Sungaripterus and maybe Tyranodon or something like that. That'd be pretty interesting, but... Like I said a minute ago, I do want to get some maybe medium amenities are going to be good here. Can I fit them here? Oh, they're just barely not able to fit there, unfortunately. I guess we'll have to maybe get, oh, or maybe I can place them like this. Oh, yeah, I have to place them like sideways. That's kind of weird, but honestly, it's a pretty creative little solution. I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's place that down like that. There you go. Then, uh, so I don't even know what, what I just placed down right there. Food drink? <laughs> I don't know. I need to play, pay more attention. I keep on forgetting to do that, you guys. And uh, let's see. Place down the pathway here. And... There you go. Oh, whoops. There you go. Cool. Now we have a uh, something. I don't know what that is. What's that? Uh, sushi. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Didn't we do research for more? Uh, yeah, we did more research recently for more shops. So that's actually really good. So I'm trying to see what we're going to get the most money out of over here. Looks like we're getting about 6,000 from cheap burgers and whatever else. Oh, wow. 8,000 from the falafel wraps. Ooh. I think that's going to be really good, you guys. Let's actually change that over falafel, falafel wraps. And I need to do this, by the way, for all the amenities. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, change them over to the most profitable thing. Do another one right here. We have food right there. Let's get trink on this side. I need to get restrooms as well. Especially because I did delete a restroom uh, somewhere around here too. So I, I kind of want to make up for that, right? Uh, let's place it over here, I suppose, right? Yeah, I guess we'll place it. Yeah, I don't think anything is going to be able to fit right there between the uh, viewing gallery and the hatchery. So let's actually get a restroom going there. That's going to be really good for the guests because it is like blood red right there. So uh, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. It actually fits between... The substation in the, the the road right there. That's really good. We might be able to slip in something else right there then. Ooh. Let's actually look at that map again. Ooh. It's actually kind of yellow right here. So maybe maybe I can slip something else there. Oh, another destroyed vehicle. <laughs> that aggressive T-Rex. Come on. Let me let me guess. He's the aggressive one. Yeah, he's the aggressive antisocial one. Keeps on destroying our Jeeps and stuff over here. I'm like, it's 50,000 every time. Uh, there you go. Buy a new vehicle. That, that adds up. That adds up over time, you guys. So I can't have that happen too much. And it seems like the uh, expeditions did come back, so that's actually good. Let's go on another expedition. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we should have enough money. Do another Mosasaurus expedition. Try and finish this up, right? So uh, cheaper expeditions. There you go. And you and you. There we go. Cool. So we're going to get that done in another four and a half minutes. 1.5 million. And uh, hopefully we'll actually get 100% genome. Because is that 85% I think right now? If we get another 15% like we just did previously, hey, we're going to get 100% genome on them. So that's going to be really good, you guys. Let's look at the management views again. See what they think about the food and drinking. Well, it's still red over here. I, I'm like, we still have room over here, honestly, to place down more food and drink and whatnot. So we'll be able to accommodate them that way. And there's no one going over, going over here for the, like, there's no reason anyway. So don't need to worry about that. Still need, uh, what do you call it? Sh gift shops over here. So I guess we could do that. Maybe get rid of this pylon, move it to this side, move onto that corner, and then we'll put a gift shop right there. That'd be really good. Okay. And then emergency shelter. Uh, do we need any emergency shelters here? Uh, kind of right here. Kind of right there. And that's it. A little bit right there, but they're not, they're not like needing it. We're at 98% right now. It's not that huge of a deal, but uh, I guess we'll place one down here anyways, just to get, oh, whoops. Oh, that's a gyrosphere thing. Yeah, I don't think you take the gyrospheres into the lagoons. That'd be really cool if you could though. But uh, let's get the guests, get the emergency shelter. Oh yeah, we have large amenities now. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't think we have any room to put anywhere right now though, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. But uh, like, oh yeah, I guess I could slip this in right here. Yeah, so slip this in right here. And now we have the emergency shelter there, so I shouldn't be complaining about that at all anymore. Good. Let's get another uh, medium amenity. Can I fit a large anywhere? Yeah, even if I try and place that sideways or whatever, can't put the large there, unfortunately. But let's get another medium over here for a gift shop, just because they are kind of fiending for that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to move the uh, thing over. So let's get that pylon moved over. So we have a little bit more room. Let's try and place down the large or uh, medium gift shop over here now. And uh, I suppose what we could do is actually place it this way. Actually, hold on. Yeah, it's not powered. There you go. Now it's powered. Okay, so I, I kind of have to place it there because otherwise it's not going to be powered by a uh, pylon or a substation, unfortunately. So let's get another uh, pathway going on over here and it should uh, hopefully be good because it's right across the street from my hotel, right? So uh, that's done. Let's try and see if we have anything good here money-wise. 5,000, 8,000 from uh, books. Oh, wow. Books are really... Wow. Dinosaur adoptions. Clicking that. All right, well, hey, at least we're making a little bit more money there, you guys. 30,000. 23,000? Only 9,000 there. Yeah, that would have definitely gotten uh, away with me in a drink shop or a small shop or whatever, right? There's still one thing around here somewhere. It's not being powered. Is it because these are, uh, yeah, these are basically at capacity right now, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. Might want to see if we could uh, research anything for our power situation. Like, say, a uh, improved uh, power. To yeah, see, 
This thing and this thing, I'm kind of interested to see how this actually works. Avoid excessive pylons by utilizing this alternative power distribution system. Chain them together to create larger power networks. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how this works. Because as you can see, we have a lot of pylons all over the place. And this one here gain access to a wider reaching power distribution system. So, uh, oh yeah, it gives you the large substation. They both basically serve the same task, right? And this over here, a small power station gets an extra upgrade, upgrade slot. And large power station does too. Um, that's two mil. Oh, that's a lot of money. I think the repeater substation might be better. Yeah, let's get that one. Let's get that one. So let's get that research, save a little bit of money there. We're still over a million dollars right now, which is really good, you guys. And uh, we do have some fossils, actually, for whatever that guy's name is. Uh, Sungaripterus. <laughs> and then, yeah, look at this. We just sell this. Boom. Uh, more money symbols right here. 230,000, 230,000. Wow, I love that. That's so good. And then we have Ambers over here for the Sungaripterus. I guess I'll just keep calling it. Uh, if we do that, it's at 65%. Amazing. And uh, this takes us up to 72%. And then uh, this takes us up to 77% with just one trip, you guys. That's amazing. So, yeah, we might have 100% genome just with these three fossils that are remaining. Holy heck. Excuse my harsh language. <laughs> but there you go. Start the task. And it's going to be done really, really quickly because that guy is overqualified, which is really cool. But yeah, uh, we're, we're getting low on the power and all the kind of stuff. So we also need to maybe make another substation or a power station over here. So do we have enough room? Oh, I just barely. Yep. Just barely have enough room to slip in a third one of these bad boys here. So, uh. Loop. There you go, good. Then we'll connect it up to the grid like so, and I guess we're good to go. Awesome. Let's get the luxury pads over here, the fancy ones, and just kind of daisy chain them like I've been doing. <laughs> there you go, okay, good. Expedition complete. Oh, awesome. Okay, so now, oh wait, no, the fossil extraction is not complete though, so we can't do that, but uh, we can still look at the fossils, so, oh wow, we can sell that for 90,000. Sell that for 90,000, I love this. 130,000, get a little bit of money there. Then we have, what is it? Where are the fossils? It doesn't show the fossils for the uh, exhibition that's just completed, unfortunately. The fossils alternative power station, yeah. So once that's done, yeah, hopefully we can clean all this up because you guys see all the heckin' pylons over the place. And yeah, look at that new viable genome right there, really good. And our, of course our Jeeps are under attack again. <laughs> and uh, there you go, boom. So it seems like the power station just finished up. It's at 60 out 60. Let's give it the upgrade though for, where is it at? Increased output, so there you go. So now we have increased output, so we're at 90 out of 90. 2 out of 90, and then 90 out of 90. So it looks like we actually solved that uh, power problem there. And now we have our alternative power distribution unlocked now, so I'm curious to see how that works. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Repeater substation. Oh, look at this. Interesting. And that's actually, that's a bigger radius, or diameter, whatever you want to call it, than the regular stuff. That's actually really good, you guys. I like that. How does this actually work? So I place this, like, say, here. This would power, like, everything on this side, right? Or, hold on, where, where would I even want to put this? I guess right here actually is a really good spot, so if I if I place this like on this side instead of that side. So there you go, oh whoops, so there you go. So if we place that there instead, and then we just get rid of these pylons now. Can I do that? Is that possible? Like whenever that's done being built? Just kind of clean, okay, that just finished up right there. So if I get rid of this. Wait, that's not working anymore? Wait, what happened? Oh, hold on, does it have to be with, oh, I think I think I know how it works, hold on. Okay, so whenever that's done being, Demolished. There you go. Okay, yeah, it has to be within the circle of. Okay, interesting. I'm understanding. You have to kind of trial and error to figure out uh, how things work, right? But there you go. Cool. So whenever that's done, that's going to be good. Then we can get rid of the uh, extra pylons over here, which I really wish I could just do. Uh, there you go. Ah oh, man, I don't want to get. Li oh, there you go. Don't want to get rid of the lagoon by accident. But there you go. Look at that. Awesome repeater substation. I like that, you guys. I like it. I can still see the reason why he'd still need pylons. This is definitely not going to be getting rid of the pylons or anything like that just yet, but right here, like if I wanted to place it there, I can't place it there because this needs to be, and, and replace that, I can't. It has to be within range of a pi or a, of, a, of a substation. So I guess that would go in uh, hand in hand with a large substation then, right? Yeah, I don't know if I want to research that just yet, but yeah, speaking of uh, this building, let's go here and we should have, oh, nice Mosasaurus, boom. We're getting 100% here with the Mosasaurus, you guys, amazing. So can I get, uh, oh yeah, we just barely not be able to do anything else there for the, uh, Singaripterus, unfortunately, so I kind of sucks. But, we're gonna get 100% on the Mosasaurus, you guys, this is amazing! Let's get this done as fast as possible, 34 seconds, amazing. Okay, $50,000 to get this done, that's gonna be well worth it, let's see if we do any research here, we're at 2.8 million, uh, in the bank, and let's see. So let's do larger substation, that's gonna cut down on the pylons as well, so I guess we'll do that, then we'll do, uh, cheaper research, is there a cheaper research guy? There we go, got him, and then, uh, let's just expect, okay, yeah, well, he, he needs to go on a rest. 
uh, cheaper incubation. You guys can take care of this. There you go. Let's go give the a uh, few of our scientists a rest over here. So let's actually go up here and go to a few scientists. I need to do the uh, shortcuts more. I keep forgetting about that. But there you go. Uh, cheaper research. Oh, yeah, he's busy right now. Then uh, this guy, I guess. Yeah, cheaper exhibitions. Boom. There you go. Cool. All right. Well, all the other scientists are kind of busy right now. So I guess we'll just play the waiting game until they're done. And then, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, well, the fossils are going to be done in 22 seconds. So I guess we'll come over here and try and get the Mosasaurus made. And I don't think we ever took a look at the, uh, the, the, the hatchery beforehand for the lagoon and look at that there's like a small little watery area here which makes sense and then they're going to release it from this so i'm glad honestly i'm glad i placed the lagoon hatchery here instead of having you know putting it over here and then having to air air lift it over to this big area right so that's really good hopefully this is actually big enough for the mosasaurus <gasps> new complete genome we did it you guys amazing so how much is that going to cost no mvu team to assign really you could assign mvu to these two huh i guess maybe that's the reason why these have these little symbols here I don't think you could ever uh, assign a view to these previously, but yeah, there you go. Let's do that. Or maybe you could and I just completely forgot about it. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll do it over here, too. Let's get the uh, front end view signed here. There you go. There you go. And same thing there. Is that it? Oh, yeah, here as well. I like how we have the lagoons. We have a small, a medium. Maybe we could put a large one over here. Maybe if we kick these back a little bit, make a little bit more room, perhaps. I guess so. But either way, now that we... uh Oh, yeah, I kind of want to... Honestly, I kind of want to wait until our... Uh... I guess I guess we... At least build up the uh, the Mosasaurus. You know, yeah, modify the genomes and stuff. Has a large appetite, needy right there. Long lived is pretty good. Twenty five percent chance of long lived, just built into it. That's really good. And because we get the full genome, we have eight modifications available. You guys, that's really good. But do I want to do some other things? Because if so, I need to research them. Like right here, the appetite for the large appetite and all that kind of stuff. Uh, DNA from the Rufus humming or Rufus hummingbird allows dinosaurs to process energy more efficiently, reducing the amount of food they need to eat. This genetic modification reduces the rate of health loss to starvation and the frequency of the dinosaur needing to eat. As a 75%, that's kind of high. Then over here is the needy thing. Uh, helps the dinosaur adapt well to small spaces. Honestly, that might be pretty good, especially because we have smaller lagoons right now. I don't know how big of I don't know how big of an area he needs. Hopefully, this is a big enough area because we can't mod we can't make it any bigger right now. I'm like we could, but we have to like revamp the whole entire like, area. Man, so I, I really want to kind of do this gene right here. Maybe get a few here. Maybe just kind of cancel that out and get the zero percent. So we don't have the, the needy thing there. Maybe even get a 25% chance of being humble. And then uh, right here, resilient. De definitely want to get some resilience. Maybe uh, intolerant, tolerant. Let's get some tolerant. 25% chance there. It's going to help out a little bit. Vulnerable, defensive, all this kind of stuff. I don't know if this really matters if it's just going to be alone in this area. Hmm. And then this combat, strong and weak. So once again, I don't, I don't know if we really need that. Hmm. So now, now I'm kind of like, and then yeah, let's save and exit for right now. Just kind of get those done and then modify genome Then go over to the, the large appetite thing over here. And then by the way, wow, look at the colors there. Let's actually get a random skin color, a random pattern. I don't know. We didn't do any pattern. We might want to actually research the patterns, honestly. But uh, right here is a few of the research for this. So if I wanted to do that, that would be, uh, oh, oh, I need to release one dinosaur with a large appetite trait before I get exit. That actually makes sense. Honestly, it makes sense rather than just researching it ahead of time. Honestly, it makes sense. They have to kind of study a dinosaur that has it in the first place. That way we could prevent it uh, from happening in the future. That's a really cool thing there. But either way, uh, since we can't do that just yet, I guess we'll do. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we were already in that screen. I guess we'll do some uh, skins there. And this is pattern, right? Yeah, there's a pattern there. So I need to get uh, temperate skins. OK, so I, I guess we'll have to research this. How much does that cost? Only 10. Did I just see 10,000 there? No, 100,000. OK, whatever. I'm like, we can still afford that. So let's get that done. I guess we'll get some uh, patterns over here just because nothing that we've released have had any patterns. So we might as well at least release something that has patterns, starting with probably the biggest attraction thus far. I'd hate to say that <laughs> and make the T-Rexes look uh, li I'm like the T-Rex. You guys saw Jurassic World, right? T-Rex is like super, super small compared to the uh, Mosasaurus. But there you go. Improved power distribution. So now we have the large, uh, what do you call them? substations? So might want to revamp that. Maybe I'll do that off camera or some of that. I don't know. Uh, then we have the advanced power distribution, blah, blah, blah. We got some we got some stuff that uh, unlock. And then uh, there you go. Cool. So a lot of things just finished up right there. Really cool. Let's see if we have any other things we could research over here. Yeah. So we have a, whatever that is. Poltrana and then lithobates. I guess we'll research that. So there you go. <laughs> then uh, let's see. There you go. And you can almost do it on your own. But uh, cheaper expeditions. Let's get this person. There you go. Cool. Let's just get that done. And then I also, speaking of expeditions, I do want to get. Actually, you know what? Yeah. This right here, this, there we go. I was just barely not able to finish up right there, unfortunately. So might want to go on one, one more expedition for the, uh, and then Archaeornithomimus. Ooh. Yeah, I said I wanted to get that, and I never did. Ooh. Let's, let's, get, let's do another expedition just real quick for the Sungaripterus over here. 
uh, Stuart Cheaper Expedition person. And then, uh, I guess you. And then, yeah, you have some unrest there, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. But try and make the time go down as fast as possible. So there you go. Only 100,000 to go on an expedition right there. And then I guess we'll do this. Give our uh, scientists a little bit of a rest, such as you and you. There you go. Well done. Well deserved rest. All right. So uh, we have some stuff going on over here. Two minutes on that. And then, uh, yeah, scientific recovery and pattern genes. Kind of want to wait until that pattern genes thing is done, and then we'll get the uh, the Mosasaurus out there, right? Just because I'm like, we can't do any other stuff right now. Because we have to release them with a large appetite in the first place before we can modify that one gene. So there you go. Pattern genes. So let's actually modify the genome. We can't we can't release them right now. I guess some of the scientists that could do that are kind of busy. But uh, I guess we'll do Poltrana. I guess we'll do that just to kind of guarantee that. And then we'll be uh, surprised. Oh, wow. Seems like there's... Are there more colors here all of a sudden i feel like so yeah yeah because we just did a research for more colors yeah yeah you know what i don't know if i want to manually choose one yukon river that's honestly pretty cool there let's keep this random let's keep that random it'll surprise us whenever we're uh we're actually done but uh, we have two more modifications available i guess we'll just do more tolerance there maybe more resilience over here actually you know what let's get a 50 percent chance of humble Resilience and tolerance. There you go. So now all of them are spent right there. 1.4 million to synthesize them, but I think we have a cheaper synthesis person. I don't know if they might be resting right now, though, but uh, speaking of resting, some of our top scientists are currently resting. So let's wait until they're done resting and then we'll get them to synthesize our Mosasaurus. And then uh, hopefully we could incubate them and then release them and get a pretty heckin' penny here, you guys. Because <laughs> golly, do we need it. Uh, right now we're making uh, almost 200,000 per minute. That's actually pretty good. That's profit, by the way. Uh, let's see. If we look at this. We're at 717,000. We're almost at four stars there, you guys. We're definitely going to hit four stars once we uh, release this guy here. But uh, actually, wait a minute. Then we'll be able to release him once these scientists are done resting. Oh, expedition just completed right there. And it looks like the uh, scientists are about to be done resting. So that's really good. Sell that. 230,000. Wow, making some amazing money. I love this new update. Holy. And then there you go. Yeah, 23%. So now it's going to have 100% genome on the Sling Ripter. It's awesome. So we might actually be able to incubate two new dinosaurs. Or Cut that out of the video. Make it sound like I didn't call this some director uh, a dinosaur. <laughs> we might be able to incubate two new critters this episode, you guys. So uh, anyways, yeah, let's get let's get this done right there. OK, cool. So looks like a few more scientists actually worked up some uh, unrest there, unfortunately. So, yeah, you give you guys some unrest because we're going to need a lot of a uh, really high tier scientists to work on that uh, Mosasaurus. And I don't believe we have any available right now. Unfortunately, we've been doing a lot of research, uh, expeditions, etc. So, yeah, makes sense that a lot of our scientists have some unrest, right? But let's just wait until they rest up, and then we'll uh, synthesize our very first batch of Mosasauruses. And there you go, fossil extraction complete, cool. Do I want to have any scientists working on... Yeah, you know what, let's prioritize the Mosasaurus. And then once the Mosasaurus is synthesized and all that kind of stuff, then we can synthesize the Sundaripterus thing, whatever that thing's called. If I'm even remotely pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> But they're almost done resting right now, about 10 seconds, I'm on speed, 3 times speed right now, so we're going to be done in just a moment, and... Boom. Yep, they just finished up. Okay, cool. So let's check up on this synthesized dinosaur or a marine reptile, as it's technically called, right? But uh, let's modify. Oh, wait. Yeah, we already modified the genome, so don't need to do anything here. Yeah, I, I think we're satisfied here. Yeah, just want to make sure everything's actually applied rather than not applied like that one time we did that T-Rex synthesis, right? But let's do uh, do we have cheaper synthesis? I don't think so. Yeah, we have faster synthesis here. So I'm like, I guess I can't complain there, but it's still 1.4 million. We have three. We have 3.8. Honestly, I, I can't. I shouldn't complain too much. I shouldn't complain too much about that. He, he's going to he's going to bring in so much money. And then uh, I want to get this done as, as fast as possible. It's going to be done in a minute right there. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Yeah, cheaper incubation. Yeah, we'll use him next as well. So there you go. 1.4 million is going to be done in a minute. We're on speed times three. Let's actually start incubating or uh, synthesizing this guy over here. So uh, if I can, hold on. There you go. Synthesized dinosaur. So Sundaripterus. Hopefully, or Sungaripterus. Uh, sickly 25%. Okay, so we need to give us some resili resilience. Oh, wow. Wow, purple? That's going to be crit. Hold on. I kind of want to manually choose that. That's very interesting there. Let's give him a... Let's give him that pat pattern. Just manually choose that pattern. Let's give him a... There you go. 25% chance of that. 50% chance of long-lived. Honestly, I like that. And then humble. Let's give him a little bit of humble there. A little bit of tolerance as well, you know, just because we're going to be in an area with a, a bunch of other species, two other species, at least for right now. Let's give them 50% chance of that. So 50% chance of long lived, 25% chance of resilient and humble and 50% chance of tolerance right there. Not bad. 150, or 117,000 to uh, synthesize these guys. And we should be able to do it without the other top tier scientists. Yep. Boom. There you go. Cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, another minute right there to synthesize the Sun Raptors. Actually, batch size of six. That's actually very surprising. There you guys. 
Hopefully we're able to coexist with, uh, oh, and then by the way, yeah, you guys did indeed say I should, uh, oh, whoa, what happened? Oh, party grab, okay, cool, party grab. <laughs> Well, we got another cutscene right there or something like that, but 760, I think we hit four stars. Yeah, look at that, four stars. I don't think it's literally on the top of the screen, <laughs> but we did indeed hit four stars right there. So that's really good there, you guys, amazing. But I do indeed, yeah, I do indeed agree, you guys, uh, with expanding out the aviator. I just don't know if we could do that right now with the uh, mo monorail in the way. I might need to actually modify the monorail and just kind of make it wrap around like this way or something like that. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, but go to enclosures, aviary. Shredded by the DMD. Oh, it's, yeah, this shop right there. So it's actually shredded by that. Outside a buildable area. And then, yeah, even with the uh, aviary, you're able to see all the circles around it. You can just barely see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see the circles around it where you could uh, connect up other aviary, like, hemispheres or whatever, right? So that's a really cool little... I don't think they had that previously. It must have been a really cool major update recently that they did that with, right? Right? But uh, it's not yelling at me about the monorail there for some reason, so... outside, It's just yelling at me about the outside of Boulder area. So if I wanted to place it, like, say, here... Okay, yeah, it is, it is obstructed by the monorail in that sense. So I assume this is obstructed by both the monorail as well as that shop right there. So, yeah, we've got to modify the monorail, if anything. And then if we place that there, we should be able to place another one. Like, say, there. Yeah, that's actually going to be pretty good. And then we could have another vision, viewing gallery, like, say, there or something like that. But I'd have to, like, wrap the monorail, like, all the way back to there. And then circle, like, there. I might have to replace the monorail somewhere else. Not 100% sure. But then again, I do want to rebuild it anyways to go over the T-Rex area and then the lagoons and stuff too, yeah. I'm like, we do have a new lagoon layout here, so. Yeah, definitely makes sense to, we'll worry about that maybe next episode or whatever, but we do have the monorail, or a, uh, oh wait, they're not done yet. Yeah, we're paused right there, whoops. <laughs> Moses Wars batch is almost done, it's 20 seconds left, 25 seconds left on the Sun Rift Rift there. So these are going to be done here in just a minute, hopefully it's a pretty good batch of uh, Moses Wars, there's hopefully two of them, let's see. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Batch size is only one here. I didn't even see that. I'm like, it makes sense. It's such a huge thing. I doubt two of them would be able to fit in this small little area there, but Sungoripterus actually finished up as well. Let's go check on them. How much of a, how, how good of a batch would we get? Okay, four out of six right there. That's not bad. 75% uh, survival rate. Yeah, it makes sense. We only got four out of six in that sense, right? But either way, let's actually uh, select these eggs here. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, it has the large appetite thing here, so I'm like, we kind of expected it, just, just being honest here. And then tolerant right there. That's actually good that it has the tolerant trait right there. Cohabitation limit and negative 30% chance to attack ranger team. So that's really good. And I'm very curious to see what the ranger team here is. So are they going to have like an underwater like a submarine drone or something like that? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see like some sort of robot. Very curious to see what happens there. But none of our scientists are currently doing anything. So we have them all freed up right now, which is really good. I do want to get the cheaper synthesis guy. I believe we or Yeah, cheaper incubation. Yeah, cheaper incubation. So we save a little bit of money there. We'll get you, you, and... Yeah, we just barely be able to do this, you guys. I want to get, uh, I don't know why it doesn't let me do four scientists doing something right now. I might need to do some sort of research for that. But it's $1.4 million instead of $2 million, so we're going to be saving a lot of money. But unfortunately, it's going to be 10 minutes here. So yeah, I'm going to have to speed through his uh, incubation here. But at least we have it going in the background, right? But let's actually go over here. Let's get the Sungoreptoris going as well. And uh, this one should be done a little bit faster, right? And then, yeah, they're all purple, too. Interesting. Cool. I guess if anything, that makes it a little bit easier for me to spot them whenever I'm looking around for them, right? So they have humble there, tolerant, tolerant, long-lived, humble, and resilient. Amazing traits here, you guys. I'm glad that we did that. Awesome. We are really lucky with that, you guys. Because some of them were only 25% and 50%, so that's really good that we got some really good traits there. So, 720,000. Yep, we could afford that. Let's get a uh, cheaper exhibition, cheaper research. And faster synthesis, sure, why not? Just kind of get this done in uh, two minutes. Okay, well, yeah, just like I said, they're going to be done with the Sungoreptoris for them. So that's going to be really cool. I feel like this monorail might have to, like, go sideways instead of, like, at an angle like that. So it'd have to go sideways and, like, that That would match up with... Oh, <laughs> another ranger team. Oh, my gosh. And an un unidentified ailment. Okay, yeah, he's roaring at, his, roaring at his destroyed Jeep right there. Yeah, you destroyed it. Big deal, right? I can just replace it with 50,000. Boom, it got replaced. It's immediately just disappeared right in front of you. <laughs> Let's get the uh, MVU over here to scan him. Is he? Uh, yeah, they're already on their way to scan him. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, actually, that they're uh, assigned to the to a thing. They're going to automatically scan him. That's actually really good, you guys. Cool. So we can kind of focus on some other things around here, like the economy and whatnot, right? So anyways, uh, let's see, 11,000. At least we're still making some money over here, which is really good. Speaking of such, how's our profit doing? Whoops. 211,000. Okay, cool. Awesome. And hopefully it's going to go up here even more once the, uh, these other dinosaurs get released and all that kind of stuff. But the injury is broken claw. Let's see. I think they already... Oh, another Ranger team just got to... <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it sounded like the, uh, the the MVU automatically fixed their broken claw or whatever, right? So that's, that's good. And let's buy another vehicle. <laughs> I wonder how many... How, does it say how many? I think it does, doesn't it? How many vehicles they've destroyed? Hold on, is it this? 
Uh, it doesn't say on this. Oh, yeah, and then you guys said, um, it does show their age on this, this screen right here, so yeah. Expected lifespan is 86, age is 25, so we can kind of see how close they are to, to, you know, getting up to old age. So that's really cool there, you guys. Thank you very much for reminding me in the comments. But it doesn't say how many, how many jeeps and how many vehicles it's destroyed. It does say how many, like, like dinosaurs and humans, I guess, it's destroyed and stuff. Oh, whoa! It looks like this Sungaripterus is ready to be released. I feel like that's why this epic music is playing all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's wait for it to settle down and then release these guys. So here we go. So hopefully these guys get along good with the... Oh wow, they're really small little guys. Look at them. Missing fish? Cohabitation? Oh man, no. Okay, so cohabitation issue seems like it's because of the population. So we just released, I think, four of these guys here. I think, I think it might be because we have a lot of Dimorphodons. I don't know if they're, like, not able to coexist. Yeah, it seems like no like species and Dr. Wu Hybrids and the only uh, disliked species. So I think we have to worry about that, right? Uh, let's see, Flying Reptile there. Does it show me what their, uh, their, like, family or whatever it is called? So I can actually kind of check the other, uh, you know, just this type Flying Reptile. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then there's the tr Flying Drone there. Let's see, let's try and find a Dimorphodon. There you go. So they not, like, uh, shared with... Yeah, so... Yeah, once again, they only dislike the Dr. Wu hybrids, which is really good. We have a, uh... Where, where is it? I guess I have to look at this map. Try, there he is right there. Tropiognathus, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, he doesn't he don't dislike him. He only dislikes the Tapahara. Okay, that's good that I got that uh, instead of the Tapahara, right? But then again, this guy's like the only one in here. Go ahead. Yeah, cohabitation. It's really cramped up in here. I feel like we could fix that cohabitation issue by expanding this out to be a little bit bigger. I feel like we could do that. I think that's going to fix it, honestly. And, uh, we have about six minutes left until that's done. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to spend a little bit of time here uh, messing around with the monorail. We do have a million dollars in the bank, so we kind of we kind of eat any any lost profits or whatever by not having good transport rating, at least temporarily. But I feel like it, it it makes sense. So let me actually just pause, try and fix this right here. So we'd have to get rid of this and this. Then I just I guess we just I guess we'll get rid of this too. And this, and yeah, you know, get, get rid of all the way up to there, and I guess we'll move this over. And, uh, I guess what we could do is, yeah, so this is kind of messy with all the pylons and stuff. This would definitely benefit from the, uh, large substation, as well as the, uh, repeater substation thing, right? So, let's so actually get rid of all this stuff around here. There we go. And uh, maybe I'll put a large substation around here somewhere, like, say, there or here in the middle. And that should be able to power everything. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let's get, let's demolish this right here, specifically. Then whenever that's done, let's actually put a large substation there. Yep, now available. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, that is able to actually power everything around here. That's amazing, you guys. So once that's done being demolished, we'll put this down right here. Boom. And let's pause. Place this down right here. Try and place it as much in this corner as possible. There we go. Cool. So everything is powered up again. Awesome. Let's see if I can... Let's connect it up over here. Is that connected up in the back? No, I don't think it is. Okay, so I think the only way to connect it up to the grid is to do it all the way like this. So then uh, that's obstructed by a pawn. Yep. There you go. I think we're good to go now, you guys. Cool. Awesome. So everything's connected up now. Awesome. And then boom. Yeah, everything's powered again. And these two, these are the only things yelling about power. There you go. So those are done. And now we have three things. What is this? Oh, yeah. It's yelling at me about the monorail. Okay, cool. So uh, <laughs> I'm saying it's cool that the monorail's yelling at me. But now that's actually done, let's get rid of this pathway right here. And let's see if we can move this a little bit. Right there is good. So we can place that there. And then uh, let's get a large path. Place it down like so. And let's see if we'd actually expand this aviary out like you guys wanted me to. Okay, yeah, I, I need to move the shop ever so slightly. So you know what? So you know what? Let's move the shop. Move it like this. There you go. And then I will rebuild it like... Actually, you know what? Let's rebuild it after we place down the aviary thing just to make sure nothing's in the way. Let's just go like this. Aviary expansion. I shot up a DMD-013. What is that? What is DMD-013? Is that a Dimorphodon? How's a Dimorphodon obstructing this? Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's definitely not letting me place this down here, unfortunately, so that really sucks. I guess we'll just get the expansion for the, uh, monorail going over here, and then I guess we'll just try and avoid that, I suppose. I guess we'll just connect it up like this. There you go, go buy the, uh, that. And I guess if anything, it, it will still provide a little bit of, uh, dinosaur visibility, so that's good. Can't complain about that. And, uh, we'll get rid of these. And there you go, cool. And, uh, we'll connect it up to the, uh, T-Rex area, and then there you go. Cool. So that's done, and then, uh, we'll connect it up like so all the way out there awesome so now that's done and now we can actually release the mosasaurus awesome you guys let's release the mosasaurus unfortunately it's nighttime do i want to wait until it's daytime 
I feel like it's been nighttime for a little while. I kind of want to wait until it's daytime and then release the Mosasaurus. Just so we can see him a little bit easier because it's water. It's going to be dark, obviously. So kind of want to see him a little bit easier. I think I'm going to wait until it's uh, daytime to release the Mosasaurus. And I guess while I'm waiting, I guess I'll uh, continue to spam here and see if we can actually place down this expansion for the aviaries <laughs> and see if it'll actually work. Oh my gosh, you guys, finally I got the expansion going right there. Holy heck. Oh my gosh, and we got a random outbreak over here of hookworms. What? Ah, infected feeder. All right, well, we already know that they, they, we need the rangers to come over here and clean their feeder. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to bring them over here. But hey, at least it's daytime now and we have the expansion going over here. I had to get rid of some of the rocks that these guys were perched on. And that's kind of why they never moved out of the way. And one, like one or two of these guys have also been kind of glitched, just flying around, just standing, flying and not eating or anything like that. So <laughs> a couple of them actually died, unfortunately, or just one of them. So that really sucks. A new disease has been found in your park that is caused by infected feeders. To prevent further outbreaks, send a ranger team to disinfect the feeder. Some of these diseases can be treated with darts by the MVU team. Okay, that's good. And then click on a dinosaur to view the ailment information, including disease effects, and what steps to take next. So yeah, definitely want to research the hookworms. So let's go over here, start research on said hookworms, which we're not able to research until, uh... Oh yeah, okay, we have to disinfect the feeder first. But yeah, we, we can we cannot research that ahead of time. But they need to come over here and uh, clean the feeder, disinfect the feeder, there you go. And uh, I accidentally renamed one of these guys just n straight up just the number one, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. But uh, where is the dead one at? I need to I need to move him out of here. Golly. There he is right there. Yeah, he starved to death or something like that, unfortunately. So, yeah, remove you. And then I tried to knock out one of them just to move him out of the way. But it, uh, it says same aviary whenever I try and do something. So I can't really do anything there, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. But hey, at, le at least we have this uh, expansion over here, which is really good. So I do want to check up on these guys to see if their cohabitation thing is still yawning at me. Yeah, it is. The area is better, though, so I'm like, I, I, I guess that's good. But hopefully they're, uh, and then, well, they haven't really discovered all the area over there, that new area there, so I don't know. I guess we can continue. At least there's nothing, no no, no flyers over there, so maybe I can explain this out a little bit more. Building constraints. I'm like, I could, and then I could, like, terrain constraints. I think it's because of the water there. I can place that there and then there. Honestly, I, th I think that's a good idea. I, I have to place this back a little bit more, unfortunately, but... Because we'd have to place a bag like that. There you go. And then I'll place down the building. These people that work at this building are probably so upset that their building has been moved like five times now. So, <laughs> so I'll place this down. Uh, building trees. Yeah, I think it's because of the water. Let's get rid of the water here. And then we'll be able to place this down, I'm sure, right? There you go. Cool. So let's try and place down the expansion of the aviary here. Building trees again. I don't know what's going on with the uh, the building trees. Maybe maybe some of the forest over here now? Yeah, well, it's just kind of weird if that's the case. But I I get rid of some of that. And get rid of some more water here. No, it's still yelling at me for some reason. What? It's yelling at me because of that? Huh? I have to push this back even more. There you go. Push it all the way back to there. Golly. They really don't like that building, do they? There we go. So now I can expand it out. There you go. And then there you go. Cool. So now we have a huge aviary-like expansion here, which is really, really cool, you guys. So I might actually want to look at getting another aviary view gallery. Yeah, look at this. Look at that visibility right there. Not really the best, so. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, that's actually like perfect visibility there. So I guess we'll place another one here. There we go. Cool. Place that down like this. Place down a pathway, that is. Like that. Uh, fix this wonky heckin' pathway. <laughs> there you go. Connect it up like that. And then uh, connect this up like this. There we go. All right, nice. And another dead dino, unfortunately. Wait, what? Oh, it's another copy. Man. All right, well, let's try to get you out of here. There you go. Release him. Okay, that's good. Uh, then... And did we did we fix their did we clean their feeder over here? I don't know if we ever did. I sent the rangers over here to fix their feeder. They haven't come over here yet. They're just standing around. What the? I sent a ranger over here, didn't I? Let me get let me get two of them. Let me bring both of them over here. There you go. Disinfect the thing. It keeps on getting infected, unfortunately. All right, well, whatever. Anyways, at least this is done over here. So now we can actually get a uh, here it is right here repeater substation, which is really good. So we can actually place the repeater like say here. It's still going to be in the area, which is going to be good. I guess we can place it on that corner. It's going to be able to power all this over here, which is really, really cool. I love how that repeater... I don't know why I never got it beforehand. <laughs> but at least we have it now. And this is what it looks like here. It looks like a weird, like, arrowhead or some weird shape. So that's kind of an interesting looking uh, thing for the aviary. But for right now, I kind of want to check up on the Dimorphodons and all of them. Yeah, it's still, still yawning about the cohabitation. So I don't know. I don't know if expanding it out that way helped out at all with that. But uh, they want a little bit more sand. So I guess we get some more sand over here. Uh, there you go. So a little bit of sand there. And I guess we can... Place down some rocks, water, and more feeders and stuff like that over here. That'd be really cool, you guys. So, let's actually do that. Just uh, kind of entice them to like, cover to this expansion area here, like this. And here. There you go. Cool. So, now we have that there. And we can get another feeder. Let's get another, uh, what's that? Marine fish feeder. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so we get one there and get another one over here. So we have two feeders there. Let's get a little bit of uh, trees and stuff over here, just because I know the Dimorphodons or Tropiogs or something like that likes the trees. So there you go. Let's get some rocks and stuff. Just place them down randomly over here as well, so we have something to perch on, right? So there you go. Some random rocks them to hang out on top of. Uh, there you go. Just kind of hang out around the lake so they can be within view of all the uh, viewing galleries and stuff like that, right? So there you go. Cool. As well as to hopefully not glitch while flying in midair. Uh, there you go. Perching in midair, I guess you can describe it as. <laughs> but there you go. Some more rocks, like so. Cool. So that should be good. So once these guys are, uh... Are the rangers even coming over here? Where are they at? At the base, stat... What in the... Pff? Okay, I'm going to manually tell the rangers to come over here then, right? Just because... Literally not doing anything. He's about to go over there and disinfect it myself or something like that. Golly. All right, well, they're over here now. So are uh, they going to disinfect the heckin' feeder or what? These guys right here. Disinfect the feeder. You are literally right here. Where is it at? That one? Oh, is the back rangers are coming here? What? Front rangers. Yeah, front rangers. Come over here. Return. No. Right here. Clean the heckin' feeder. Jeez. In the world? There you go. You guys are going in there now or... I don't know, they're just kind of stuck. They're not doing anything. Uh... <laughs> what in the world are they doing? Come on! Okay, we have another ranger team over here. What is wrong with this? Something glitched, I don't know. Oh! Okay, now it's magically clean. Okay, well, that's, that's good. <laughs> so now we can actually uh, research the hookworms health and stuff like that, right? So MVU's coming over here automatically, that's good. Research the heckin' hookworms or whatever. So there you go. And let's research that. Yep, there you go. Uh, almost got that done with him, so that's good. There you go. And uh, now it's actually release a heckin' Mosasaurus like I wanted to do like 15 times, but you got so distracted by everything else going on. But now it's daytime, it looks like it's about to turn to nighttime, so let's release him now. Release the Mosasaurus. Oh my gosh, look at him! He's huge! I'm like, you kind of expected that, right? With a heckin' Mosasaur. Glad I waited till daytime too, you could see him clearly. Look at that! Oh my gosh, now we're missing sharks. But yeah, we'll place down feeders and stuff. Dr. Wu is looking at increasing the Velociraptor population. So we're going to be bringing in an ex-military specialist. He's a bit of a free spirit, so you'll need to keep him on track. Name's Grady, Owen Grady. My job here is to look after the well-being of the dinosaurs. I'm an animal behaviorist. First things first, let's incubate and release a pack of Velociraptors. Owen is here to ensure everything goes to plan. All right, that sounds amazing, guys. We're going to get some raptors. We're going to get the whole pack for Owen there. So definitely look forward to that here. Maybe next episode or something like that, right? But for right now, we need to get some sharks for the Mosasaur. Yeah, look at that. Huge area here, you guys. Or a huge Mosasaur in the area. Let's see if we can actually get the feeder. So where would I have to put this? Cars Lagoon. I guess this one makes... At least it'd make it a little bit symmetrical if I place this little feeder here then, right? Marine fish feeder, so... Wait, sharks? We need shark feeder, so he eats the sharks. Oh, yeah! Oh, awesome. So, yeah. Definitely want to... Actually, you know what? This is the perfect spot to put it. So, it's going to be within view of all three. It's going to be between all three of these. This is amazing. Let's place the shark feeder right here. And you'll be able to eat the... It, like, dangles the shark or whatever. Yeah, look at that! It's dangling the shark! And then the Mosasaur comes over here. Oh, my gosh. I kind of want to zoom in on the Mos Mosasaur and see if, he, uh, see if he eats out of that. So, where is he? Where is he? There he is. So hopefully he goes over there and finds him. So comfort's good, health is good, food is good now, stamina's good. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't need like a bigger area. Seems like this is good. I'm glad I made it smaller instead of one gigantic heckin' area, right? But now I need a- oh, man, dead dinosaur. I don't know what it is, but it might be one of the dimorphodons or something like that. That was kind of glitch, like flying in midair or whatever. But see if he'll go over there and eat that shark out of midair because I'm very curious to see what that looks like. It's going to be an amazing way to end off the episode. But looks like he's getting closer and closer to the shark, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? There it is. Smaller mosasaurs. Come on, you better eat it. No, no source of common cold in the park. That's good. He's going to get it. <gasps> He's going to get it. Here he comes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he like ripped the whole body off, like the head or whatever. Oh my gosh! What is that? Oh, there's the. Oh, it's the tail. It's just a shark tail there now. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> and then they're going to get another shark. Holy heck. <laughs> that is so cool. That is awesome. Unfortunately, it's nighttime right now, so it's not really the best. But uh, and look at that. We got a crowd over here, too. And I want to I see what it looks like whenever you uh, lower the stand. Hold on. I want to lower the stand. I want to see the Mosasaur. What does it look like? 
before we end off the episode. It's probably a longer episode, but, uh, yeah, as predicted, it's nighttime. The waters are kind of, like, blurry and stuff, so you can't really see the best, but, uh, let's see. Raise and lower. Let's go. Let, let's go back up. Let's see what the view from here. Let's see what the view of the shark looks like from here. I'm sure it's an amazing view, like, right in sight. Yeah, look at that. Amazing view of the shark. Look at that. Awesome. And then right there, you can clearly see the Mosasaur as well. Oh my gosh. I really like this viewing gallery here. And that hotel across the street is going to be absolutely popular because the dinosaur visibility there. Holy heck. But to see the visibility of this uh, stand over here, I want to see. Uh, you can still kind of see that shark from here. You can, you can still see it, but uh, may, at least you can kind of see all the rest of it uh, over here, so. And maybe you'll have a better view of the Mosasaur just in general, but maybe you can't see the shark quite as easily, right? And I guess we could have multiple feeders. Maybe we can have another one on this side or some of that. But uh, over here, what does this look like? Yeah, once again, just like the other side, you have clear visibility of, like, the Mosasaur, wherever he is. At least above water. Maybe underwater. Uh, you, can, uh, you can't really see the shark. It's, like, right there on the right corner. Top right corner. Oh! What in the world? What's fighting now? What are these? Oh yeah, the Huayangus horses are fighting. I think they're just play fighting. I think they I think they play fight all the time. At least that big of a deal. But uh, we have dead dinos and whatnot, so Oh man, the oh man, the other tri okay, so I think all the tropiognathus are dead in the park now, so that kinda sucks. This is infected again? What the How many times has this happened? Hold on, the rangers keep on like the ranger jeeps keep getting like exploded and stuff, so <laughs> I need the rangers to come over here. Check about they're literally here already! Are they not checking up on the- Oh, there, there's their drone. Okay, they're going to disinfect the thing. Vehicle to- <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well at least they disinfected that. That's good, okay. So what what, what died? Oh, okay, they, they're transporting him out. That's good. So it was indeed just a Tropic Nathus or whatever. Golly, destroy this vehicle again. Yeah, that T-Rex has costed us so much money. Probably like half a million dollars by now, right? <laughs> and yeah, we need to get MVU over here to diagnose his ailment. Because he's probably got like a broken- Tooth broken claw or something stupid like that. <laughs> Completely avoidable. <laughs> but there you go. We got a lot of really good progress done, you guys. We got the Mosasaurs. We got some new uh, flyers over there, which is really good. Kind of want to see if they're, uh, and oh my, what the? This is infected now, too? Really? Hold on. Patrolling this this guy. Patrolling Avery. Coming to here. How does this keep on getting infected? That's so weird. At least we have the drone already over here, but there you go. Diagnosed with internal bleeding, select a dinosaur and learn how to treat the injury and cause. Uh, it's a major injury, golly, all right, well, we have to knock him out and take him over to the, uh, to the medical facility, so, there you go, knock him out and take him over, and hopefully we're going to have him, uh, let's see, oh, okay, yeah, it seems like capture team, I, I don't want, I don't want to assign capture team to the ranger post, or else they'll knock him out every time they, like, attack a ranger team, which, I'm like, I can kind of understand why, but at the same time, it's not really that necessary of a thing, <laughs> and disease contracted again, what is it, the T-Rex randomly got, oh, he's got the infected wound now, man, He's got an infected internal bleeding wound. Uh, but let's take him over here. There you go. 900,000 to heal him up. Golly, that's a lot of money. That's way too much money. But there you go. Ultra Sally, all that kind of stuff. We don't have a cheaper, like, medical treatment or anything like that. So that kind of sucks. But 900,000. We have, like, 6 million. So we can afford that, which is very, very fortunate. So let's take care of our T-Rex over here, you guys. Because he's definitely a money maker. And speaking of uh, money and all that kind of stuff, I'm curious to see what the uh, Mosasaurus' appeal rating is. Let's see. What is his appeal rating at? It is a 2,500. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, large appetite. Honestly, that's actually a good thing. If you ask me, that's a good thing. Because that just means he's more, he's, he's going to eat more sharks over here, right? And there's just like an unlimited Ooh. supply of sharks or whatever. So I, I guess that's going to be good. <laughs> oh, whoa, another, oh, the Gallimimus. Okay, yeah, Gallimimus are starting to die. So yeah, definitely want to get the Archaeornithomimus to start replacing the Gallimimus. And uh, I, I definitely want to start ending off the episode here because a lot of things are going on. And we got a lot of really good things done this episode already. It's probably a longer episode anyways, too. So definitely need to end it off sometime. And it sounds like a storm's about to come. So I guess I'll end it off right now so we can end it the same way we ended off last episode with a storm. Yep, storm warning. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll do my outro with the uh, Mosasaurus over here. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode. As some dinosaurs are breaking out of the park. <laughs> oh, bye there. <laughs>